it's been a little second since I've done a European War 6 1914 video, so it's time to get back in it. Really focus again on that game, since that's the one you guys seem to love, and I am also enjoying a lot right now. At this moment, I would like to tell you that if you subscribe, you will get a alien spaceship, which can go 0.01 meters per second. So subscribe and all your dreams will come true. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Let's get into those generals. I'm going to rank these just by pure power. It's not necessarily the best um, prize performance, guys. Just pure power. If you invest a lot of time in this game, you'll enjoy these guys the most. Starting off at rank 10, we have our boy Joseph Joffre. After the update, he has received a little bit of a hit. Not necessarily he's weaker, but other generals which have joined are stronger. He still very narrowly makes the top 10 because his extra attack and extra attack for so uh, just normal soldiers and cavalry are overall 31. He can reach the title Prince. So that's a bit of a minus. Prince isn't that high, which that's a bit of a problem. So if you can rank up to uh, Emperor, let's quickly show you at, I don't know, example, Lee. He gets a lot more defense and gets a lot more damage output if you get these things so it does make quite a difference so that's why joseph joffre only makes rank 10. his starting skills aren't that terrible plane fighting edge and um well that's kind of it okay just two of them i, I overestimate him his two starter skills aren't that great let's move on at rank 9 we have prince leopold he starts off with overall 33 starting damage which seems pretty you know impressive especially since he has a lot more uh, extra attack for soldiers so you also can use him apart from artillery but again only prince that's the big minus quite costly as well and his starting skills start off with this and this skills these two skills which are very very good for artillery this one's okay this one is meh and this one's okay so you have still some upgrading to do with the feature just to remind you once again if you have these generals you can um, change the skill by clicking the reset button here under this my you see under my gun you can click reset and then you can use those books and reset a skill. That's why Leopold still has some skills to change, which doesn't make him the most ideal guy. Still at the very familiar faces, we are at Stepanovich. He with 34 overall uh, damage ability, is already quite high. Still just Prince, Precision Strike and Tactics Master, very good skills. These three you probably have to replace to get the maximum out of him. So yeah, it doesn't make it much higher up the list. And again, a familiar face, Stonewall Jackson. We'll right get into the new added generals, trust me. He is just, again, with 30 potential, doesn't seem as crazy, but he can rank up to Emperor, so it's quite a lot of damage and defense more. And he has some good starting skills, so Jungle Fighting you can keep, Tactics Master you can keep, and Edge you can keep. Those two should maybe be replaced, especially um, Station should be replaced. So here we have our first new addition at rank 6, we have Herbert Plummer. He has 32 starting ability, can rank up to King, pretty impressive, and has... Um, three and a half ish good skills so you have jungle fighting which you can keep edge which you can keep special jungle fighting in this update means you can have higher mobility which makes it quite a useful skill especially for our cavalry so jungle and edge and cavalry commander all great riding master is not the very best and alert can be replaced so overall this new addition is making it into the top 10 i think the best in-app uh, best non-in-app purchase cavalry general in this game right now before we get into rank 5, I'm going to do a quick honorable mentions, especially these are for the infantry. The new addition, Maria Bokareva, I can't say her name, who is a... Didn't even say where she's from, but I guess from the name it must be some kind of Russian or Balkan state, I'm sorry. She is pretty impressive, I have to say. She has four starting good skills, assault, infantry, uh, master... Mountain fighting cover is not great, and dog, dog fighting are all good, so four are very good skills, one you could replace. You can go up to Prince, but doesn't have that much starting ability, but for a new general, for a kind of cheap-ish, not super cheap general, she's pretty good. Obviously the boy Boya Jeff, he used to be the OG, very good starting general, but my favorite cheap infantry is Douglas MacArthur, only can get out till Duke, but he only costs gold, so if you have some gold to invest, he starts off with four great skills, you don't have to replace any skills. And he's just a very good starting infantry general. At rank 5 we have a very familiar face, one of my favorite boys, Ivanov. Starts off with four, four and a half-ish, very good skills. Can rack up to king, has 34. Uh, starting attack, which is very impressive. Wait, 33, I'm sorry, I can't count. So, tactics master, mountain fighting, artillery expert and salvo are great, especially now that mountain fighting is upgraded. Makes him the tad more powerful. 
Inspiration could be replaced. He's a very good general for your buck. If you don't have any books to invest, get yourself Ivanov. And again, we have the Robert Lee at rank 4. 32 starting ability, but he can go up to Emperor, which makes him pretty... Very, very powerful, but his cost is super high. I have him, and if you upgrade him fully, I might, might, if you want to have a quick look at him, he's starting to look amazing. I still have to upgrade him till Emperor, and here I can still upgrade once or twice, but his skills are all great now. So Assault, Intercept, Infantry Commander, Master, and Plane. That's what I went for. Makes him super expensive, but his damage output is crazy. Lee is a general, which is an endgame game general, so don't go for him initially. Maybe if you want to start with steep, cheap infantry, I would probably go for, um, like I said, MacArthur or maybe even Boca, Boca di Reva. Seems pretty interesting, but I wouldn't go for him initially because you have to invest a lot in Lee. At rank 3, we have again a new general, which is Bezeler. The Bezela. Now this guy, he's very, very expensive, but look at his initial power. is 33 initial damage, can rank up to King has Salvo, Tactics Master, Storm Fortification, Plane, and Mountain. So if you maybe want to replace one of these two skills, maybe Plane, maybe Mountain, that guy will become a monster. He'll do crazy damage and it's just very impressive. But a bit more impressive and a bit of a shock to some of you probably, is at rank 2 we have our channel logo, our Lord and Savior Hindenburg. Now Hindenburg, he is great, trust me. I just, one new guy which was added is just insane. Just absolutely insane. But Hittenberg at the starting 33 damage of extra attack and for soldiers and artillery. And the potential title of Emperor is very powerful. I really like his defensive formation. I'm starting to enjoy this skill quite a lot. So if you add him, he becomes like a healer, uh, like a unit survivor. Everybody around him survives. I would replace Alert, Landfort maybe as well. But so three skills are very good. These two might need replacing. And then if you then do that, he becomes crazy. The best artillery, not enough purchase in this game. And now I drank one. This guy is just absolutely insane. I didn't realize that he's so freaking strong. But we have Hipper. Now you might say, what the heck, Joel Joss? A Navy general at rank one. But if we just look at this pure power level, power level, Hipper is off the charts. 20 extra attack for soldiers and 15 for Navy, so it's 35 overall. Ranks up to King, and his initial skills are all actually all good. So Battle of Line is what you always need. Navy Commander is very good. Tactics Master as well. Rage seems pretty interesting, and Inspiration might be replaceable. Rage maybe if you are if you want super consistent damage, but it still might be a very good skill if you rank it up quite a bit. Yeah, 35 starting damage is crazy. Just look at this guy. Especially for a navy, him and obviously Hindenburg and uh, Bezler are all quite close, but he somehow makes the cut. Now, maybe I will start repl replacing BT since he only has 31 and only can rank up to Prince. I might have to replace BT with Hipper just because of the sheer madness that Hipper brings. So, yeah, these are the top 10. That doesn't mean necessarily to buy those and those um, in that way. I'm just saying those are the most powerful generals. Since I already have a very strong roster and pretty far in the campaign, it might make sense for me to go for the very strongest. But don't not if you're a beginner, don't necessarily go for these guys initially. I might have to do still a video on the best beginning generals. Tell me if I should do that. If I do that and maybe write a comment and like comments. Like comments where people say that they want the best beginning generals video. I might have to do that as well. At this moment, shout out to... Victor SMG and Rovanion11, uh, thank you so much for being the two first members on, this, members on this channel. So boys, if you want to become a member of this channel, it would be great. I'll be very happy. You get some extra emojis, logos, a rank in Discord. And it only costs you two bucks a month. Should be payable. Anyways, thank you for watching and your patience. Have a nice and bye.